Welcome. In this video, we will be using the exchange PowerShell commandlets to modify, create, and remove send connectors in our environment. To create a brand new send connector, you will use the new send connector commandlet. I will be passing the arguments of name, address spaces to apply this send connector to, max message size, and the internet value, which is Boolean, to specify that this is not an intranet-based mail system. To confirm that this send connector has been created to my liking, I will run the get send connector commandlet against the identity of outbound, which is the name of the one that we just created. To confirm just in another form, I will bring you to the Exchange Admin Center where we can see our new send connector has indeed been created. It has also been created with the maximum send size of 10 megabytes. On my outbound send connector, I am going to modify the max message size from 10 megabytes to 30 by running this commandlet here. And we can confirm that those changes did take effect again by using the get send connector commandlet. To confirm that our change has now taken effect, we come back to the Exchange Admin Center as well, and we do see that this value has also been updated to reflect our change. And last but not least, we will run remove send connector to remove what we have created because it's no longer needed. As one final confirmation, we will come to our Exchange Admin Center, refresh the page, and we can confirm both through the GUI and via PowerShell that this send connector has now been removed. I hope that this video has been informative on how you can create, modify, and remove send connectors in your Exchange environment. Thank you.